Hello guys! Welcome back. Another episode of Space Chickens. As always, this is Jason. And we're picking up where we left off, except I went through those caves and I mined up the stuff. Um, at least most of it. A lot of it. Lots of stuff has been mined. And it's now in my inventory. Um, so as we can see here, if we just look, you should not see any ores. Um, I just ran back up here to the surface. And... Uh, ready to get going here so in the last four episodes we we dove into this game we didn't know anything we were doing and we figured out some stuff and you guys have commented and told me some stuff and all this is happening now after after all that uh, minecraft map is reset and all those things have happened and i'm back and ready to play some more space chickens and i don't even have a way in here do it um but i felt like i got got a little carried away in the first the first four episodes i i wanted to do so many so many things all at once and i need to slow down man um first and foremost i say the word chuckaboron and i always have and i've been made fun of by friends of mine for years um and i've accepted it and i don't care so <laughs> if you're offended by my incorrect pronunciation of that word you're in for a bad time so the thing, the, our goal for today is going to be simple. We're going to keep it simple. Stupid. <laughs> I'm not calling you stupid, unless you are. Um, but our goal for today is I want to get a better farm for these because this seems like the thing I'm going to need a lot of. And I should see. I'm already getting ahead of myself. I need to put some of this stuff in here so I have some inventory room. You know. There we go. And let's go ahead and make a couple more furnaces while we're at it. Uh, so, I I have talked to the mod maker for Galacticraft, uh, and he said there's a little there's a couple bugs in this version of Galacticraft. Uh, he said that 152 came so quick that he never bothered to fix them, um, but he has sent me an updated version of the jar um, fixing those bugs. Problem is, it doesn't actually work with my version of basic components for some reason I've sent him a message about it it's probably not a big deal something he can work out uh, but I want the reason why I'm bringing it up and telling you guys is because um, I want everyone to know that uh, I am going to end up being using a jar of galactic craft that is not the standard 151 jar it's an updated version um, and I'm hoping that pretty soon here you know both the chakra craft and the galactic craft everybody updates and I'll have an updated version, and none of that stuff will even matter. I'll be using 161 or whatever. Um, so that's my, my hopes. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, I haven't been in touch with the mod maker for ChocoCraft, uh, but I, I might contact him and see what he thinks about an idea. As far as I remember, in Final Fantasy VII, whenever you would, uh, whenever the Chocobos would breed, the chocobos. <laughs> that's that's all you get. It's the one time I'll say it that way. Uh, whenever they would breed, you'd get an egg, and the egg had an incubation incubation period time. Um, and I think it would be really cool if that's how this worked. I think it would be even cooler if he added some blocks, um, like an incubator block, uh, that you had to build in order to um, incubate the the uh, the eggs. And then once the eggs hatch, then you got the chick chickabo. Um, I think that would add, for myself, it would add more excitement to the whole thing, and it would give me the ability to put put these eggs, because they become a block, you know, um, so it'd give me the ability to uh, put these eggs in my inventory and easily transport them, <laughs> which I would like to be able to do. Uh, now, all that said, supposedly, in the nether, there are eggs, uh, because of a spawning error with the the chuckaboos in the nether. Um, so, if that is true, I see. I think I don't know if that if that got if that got fixed later on, uh, and that's no longer true or not. So we're gonna go to the nether and see if and if that's the case, then we can um, we can just get one of those eggs. It'll be a purple chuckaboo, uh, but uh, we can get one of those eggs and take that with us to outer space. No matter what. I will get a chocobo to outer space, and I will not hack in an egg to do it. I I will I will find a way 
to legitimately bring one of these chickens to outer space. I'm honestly curious if the chickens um, will spawn in outer space because they might. All right. Now these feathers supposedly do things. Didn't do anything. <laughs> The Chocopedia apparently does something too. Um, is it only... I don't remember what each each thing does, to be honest with you. People have commented. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that makes him follow you. He just doesn't. He didn't do He does it in teleports. Shh. <laughs> um, anyways, I keep coming over here and I keep thinking, if only I had a sh an axe. I would be in there right now. Alright, guys. It's time for sexy time. Are you ready for sexy time? Let's put the lights down low and turn on some special music. Come on, blue. Give me blue. Give me blue. You green. That's alright. Speak to me, little guy. Say my name. Say my name, say my name. You just came out of her butt. <laughs> I offended him, man. Hey, <laughs> I'm walking away from this crazy son of a bitch. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Alright. So, let's think about farm here. Now, I don't necessarily have to have anything that's super fancy. But I was kind of thinking, kind of thinking, uh, that it would be cool if we could incorporate the farm. I see. I need to hurry up and do this too, because I'm so tired of. I, I'm. I have the worst case of ADD when it comes to these things being grown. I just must. I must farm them. <laughs> Can't help myself, man. Uh, I wonder. Let's get. Let's move some of this coal up here. This is cooking. Alright. So I was kind of thinking, kind of thinking, that it would be cool to put the farm in one of these, one of these spires that come, these mountain spires, if you want to call them a spire. You don't have to call them a spire. I'm going to call it a spire though, so don't, don't be offended by my choice of words. Um, but this kind of dips down into here where I've dug in and uh, it's really reminiscent to my season one world for, for my first let's play because I hit something like this um, but I think it would be cool to put the, the the farm right here and have it where I could press a button and all the stuff falls down there so the best way for me to do that let me show it on the bar it's kind of Take some of this out and take a peek down here. I don't know where exactly I come in out, in and out of. Right there is where it is at. So what's this? Nothing. Okay. So really, any of that's fine. I can do it however I, however I so desire. This is all good. Let's, uh, is there coal in here? There sure enough is. Let's grab that. Put that gold in. And this copper. And this iron. And... Let's drop off the redstone. And the lupus. Supposedly you do something with this, this feather, too. I don't remember, or not this feather, this, um, this pedia. Pedia. Uh, but I don't remember what it was that uh, people were saying. Um, I, I'll put that in there for now. I'm definitely going to make another portal here really soon. Maybe tonight. Um, it might be next episode. Alright. I don't need anything in there right now. Um, I do need to make an anvil, but it's not a top priority. I need to make an enchanted table. I didn't find any more diamonds. I went through more caving um, after I recorded that bit where I just ran through and lit stuff up. I did quite a bit the other morning, um, and I never did find any more diamond, fortunately. Let's 
do let's do one more in here. Um, let me get this all organized here as far as a flat surface. Let the sun go down so I can sleep. And I'll be back with you guys here very momentarily. Alright, so I'm up in this, uh, up here instead of this mountain spire, as we have deemed it. Uh, and I've dug in. Again, I want the stuff to drop and just land down there, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a waterway that starts here. That's eight blocks to there. It'll take our greens out. Uh, then I'm going to have a waterway here and there that uh, will bring them down to this trough. And then I'm going to plant the greens through here. And what I was hoping, and man, did I luck out. Uh, I was hoping that I would hit the, the other side of the mountain here and it would come out all perfect so that uh, I could put a glass wall so that you could see the farm from out here. And sure enough, man, it turned out just right. Um, so I got really lucky with that. It's almost like I planned it or something. Uh, so what I'm going to do is dig this out here and then put the farm in. Um, now with, with it coming out like this right here, I may not automate it as much as I had originally planned. Because um, I was going to you know, put pistons in here so that I could just hit a button and uh, water would pour out and farm everything. But I might not end up doing that. I might, I don't know. I might not do the piston I did because I really want to put glass over here now to showcase the farm from that side of the mountain. So I don't know. We'll see how it all comes together once I get done digging this all out. Um, I'm about to use the last of this pick. I think I might go make a couple iron picks to use for this part of the project. Uh, but let me get this all set up here and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty. I think I've got everything I need to go up there. I just want to come down here grab this stuff out of here and we'll have to work out what all we need to build next um, in regard to that stuff let's go ahead and mine these I guess mine is not the right word pick harvest something I wonder if it's completely random or if certain parents have a chance of being more green or more blue or whatever, you know? Because we've gotten two greens out of that one set of parents. I wonder if I should try different mates or what? Oh, we've got enough for two breeds this time. I'll take a peek at that area from over here. I don't have the grass, the grass, the glass yet. Uh, we're going to have to go out to the desert and get us some sand for that. And I think I want to go ahead and make the nether portal here in a minute as well. Uh, just to see what the nether looks like. See if we see any strongholds or anything like that right away. Because I think that's where the uh, eggs will be is in the chests in there. Alright. Um, and I really want to farm this wheat too, but I don't want to waste the time to do it. <laughs> Let's just not even talk about it. Um, let's go over here and and another another episode is going to be me setting up a pen for these guys. I want to definitely want a pen set up where I can have these feathers doing their own thing, where I'm not coming through and manually doing anything. All right, guys, turn your lights down low again. Ooh! Oh, blue! Yes! Yes! Speak to me, my blue baby. I keep having these really awkward moments with these children. <laughs> that sounded really weird. I take that back. Um, Alright, so I'm going to save this uh, these beats until this guy right here grows up. Oh, you know what? I don't know if it's going to be a guy or a girl. Uh, what are you... That's a guy, and that's a guy. You better be a little lady. You better be a the cutest little lady you've ever seen. Oh, he's, he's hanging his head. I bet it's a guy. Uh, so yeah, colorful, colorful headdress. That's that's a male. Makes sense. That's how birds in the real world are. Didn't even think about it though. All right, so let's uh, let's take a peek at this this area from over here. Just see how it looks. Can I do if we like what we've what we've done and again it still needs the glass 
Well, it looks kind of awkward over here because it's not loaded completely. Looks like something terrible has happened to this mountain. The top's not even loaded. Yeah, I think that'll look good once the glass is in there. Yeah, I think that's 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 gonna be just fine, just fine indeed. Alrighty, got our hoe here. Uh, <laughs> let's take it up here and do some damage with it. I've already got the water down. I probably should have waited for this last bit to be honest, because it's gonna be a pain to get in here. The slowest ascension ever. Ascension? That's not the right word. Whatever. Um. And there's probably a better way I could have done this, because I'm not, I'm not getting, I'm not getting all the, um, the possible area. I'll show you what I mean by that. Going from here, I'm only doing seven wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where technically it could be eight wide, as far as um, <clears throat> the amount of, amount of soil that the wetness will spread to. But eh, it's good enough. I don't know if this hoe is going to make it through all of this or not. And I probably should do something here in regards to light. Let's bring this across like this. I don't know why I need to <laughs> branch up like that. Just place it on the ceiling. Whatever. Uh, get some light. That's probably good. All right. Back to Hoen. Oh my god, I didn't have any helmet on for a second there. All right. Let's plant this up. So... They, these seem to grow pretty dang quick. Um, so with the farm I have on the ground and this one here, should really speed up the breeding process. And that's really all I want to do. Because, I mean, once you get them all bred, you got them all bred, right? Um, but with the whole RNG aspect of it all, don't want to don't have to wait all, all the time for um, these things to grow. And I still don't want to to feed the Chicabos cake or anything to make them grow up any quicker. I think it's more fun to let them, let them have a childhood, man. Let them grow up. And I really think the idea of adding, oh man, almost, man. It's always the case, isn't it? Um, I think the idea of adding some kind of incubator or something like that. You're an incubator. Um, look how fast that one grew. For, for eggs and do an egg drop, I think that would be much more realistic and I think it'd be better all overall. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go sleep away the night. And I need more of those seeds, obviously. I don't think I have any that I haven't haven't used here. There's one. I mean it didn't be much good, does it? Well, it does as much good as the next thing, I suppose. All right, let's. Uh, what did I do with my obsidian? I stuck it in here, didn't I? Yep. And let's grab a piece of iron. I already got flint. All right, let's get on our. Chocobo. You know, I never did go look around for desert temples or anything out here. Um, so let's check out this desert too. Just see if we get lucky with a desert temple. And um, things that are going to be episodes. We're going to have to make a proper pin for these guys. Blue one hasn't grown up yet, has it? Oh, look at that guy with his golden armor. Where's little blue baby at? Where's little blue baby? Oh, there he is. Or she. He better be a she. Alright. Act right, spider. Oh, hey, wolf. What's up, dog? <laughs> What's up, dog? Uh, all right. Yeah. Chocobo pin. That'll be an episode. Um, I don't know if this will be a whole episode, but uh, I definitely want to make the skeletons into some kind of grinder or something. 
that I can uh, get tons of string from and wool because I need both of those for recipes uh, for different things so um, that'll be something we want I don't think I need a cow farm for leather I think we'll get enough leather um, but I might I might end up making some kind of breeding station for cows I don't know how much leather I need to look back at that I remember thinking early on that I was gonna make a cow farm but I'm not sure about that now uh, some people have suggested a couple mods that allow you to like net animals um, like catch them in a net one of them was like safari some kind of safari mod um, but like, like I said before I think I think we're gonna work this out we're gonna get our chocobos to space the way the mods intended to work um, so I think it'll be all right I think we'll be okay this desert sucked Saddest desert you've ever seen in your life, man. I keep meaning to write down my coordinates for home because I've been lost more than I'd like to admit. I got lost earlier if I started recording. I, I had uh, tunneled out of that cave. That's gravel. Thought for a second it was cobble. Um, tunneled out of that cave and was just lost to get on the surface. I camp on that spider, the skeleton spawner, the spider spawner in the wall. And I at least knew how to get from there back home. But I really don't know the coordinates <laughs> for home, so. Uh, I don't know why, but I feel the need to make my nether port out here in this desert. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't, I don't want everything right at the house. I need a reason to travel. I mean, I have all these birds to ride on. You know? Yeah, Got to ride them. Got to ride them all. Okay. Let's try to do this right the first time. And, then, and since I don't have a diamond pick anymore, I really wish I had gathered one more obsidian for that uh, enchantment table. Because now I have to make a diamond pick before I can make an enchanting table again. I think it's three obsidian. You think I would know as much UHC as I've played. Alright. That and that. I have a die jet on on this map. Did that show up the first time? I just missed it. I was probably looking in the wrong the wrong window. Alright, you stay there, little guy. I'm gonna go in here. See what I see. It's red. Okay. Glowstone. Quartz. Lots of quartz. See the lava updating. Uh, do not see anything that resembles a stronghold. Let's go up here on this little hill here. See if we get a better view of anything. see anything that's like a stronghold that's unfortunate man and we got so lucky in our in our season four map for there to be a stronghold like I mean you couldn't have gotten any closer let's grab some of this man because I want to walk through over here but I can two birds and one stone man okay, here we go look at this guy check him out I want to come stab him You missed. I missed. We both missed. Get pissed about it. Alright, you're dead, asshole. Hoping to beyond hope to see a stronghold. I'm always bad about seeing them. This place is so red, man. So red. Hey, guys. Yeah, I don't see anything. I may have to come back in here and wander around off camera. 
I always, I always feel like the Nether doesn't make very good video. See, like I said, it's so red, so dark. She still would be offended by these words. Uh, let's pick up here. Lots of nope. I wish they were more common, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, sometimes you come in and you just see them immediately, and sometimes you can't find them at all. I've I've made really long journeys in the nether before looking for them. Without any luck. I guess one good thing about this is that at least there's something else that spawns in here, being the purple chocobo that I need to find. Um... But again, I don't, I don't really want to find him in his living state. I'd rather find him an egg inside of a stronghold. I'm assuming that's still there. Uh, is and what, what I mean by still there is is in the game. Period. Um, but I think I'm gonna head back out of the Nether now. I think this will be a uh, record, but yet edit out anything that's is an exciting type of deal. Um, which will probably mean recording. You guys will never see any of it because uh, I don't see I don't see anything. Yeah, so let's head back out. I think let's gather up some sand so that we can make some glass for our farm. Um, maybe I need to AFK a little while and let the farm do its thing so I can breed more. Uh, I think I'll do the sand off camera as well. I'm gonna head back over there real quick. See if the blue guy has grown up. And I think we'll call this episode done here. Um, if he is not, or if he is even. Either way, we'll breed him and see what sex he is. Hopefully it's a girl. That's not something you normally hear guys say. You know, whenever my wife first got pregnant... Um, it wasn't a surprise. We we definitely planned it, but <laughs> I feel the need to clarify that when I speak of it. So many unplanned pregnancies. Not that it's a bad thing. I mean, uh, as as long as, as as you're you're in a situation where you can you can handle the kid and all. Hey, little guy, you taking a bath? He's so adorable. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, you know, I think uh, I think most most dads want a boy. Um. So, <laughs> I mean, I didn't, like, shed tears when I found out we were having a girl. But I was a little bit, you know, well, darn. Um, but now, you know, of course you wouldn't trade him for anything in the world. Um, Alright, well, I think we'll call this good here, guys. When we return, hopefully, Mr., uh, I don't know, let's give her a name, like, I don't know, Mary. Because <laughs> you need to populate the world with blue and green chicken offspring um apparently that's what marys do uh, <laughs> uh when we return we'll see we'll see what sex this this person is this chakaboo and um i'll see you guys next time bye